So welcome to this second video at three. Uh, these are items I am testing for Gearbest. And this is the item I'm most looking forward to testing. This is ePaper. This is a 4.2 inch 300 by 400 pixel ePaper unit. Um, it comes with a header which allows you to connect it to various things. You can connect it to a Raspberry Pi or a Arduino board. Um, in my case, to get it up and running, I've just used the header and I've connected it to a Arduino Uno board. I'm going to run through the setting this up and getting it to display images. So when I first attempted to get this unit running, I really didn't have a clue. So I decided to come straight to the Waveshare wiki page. And here you can see there's a lot of information. There are three things I need to point out. The first is there are three sections here where it shows you how to work with a Raspberry Pi and that's the connections there and then there's a Arduino connection obviously that's what I've done and then there's another connection here which is the STM32 development board um, I've chose the Arduino Uno so it shows you which pin goes where and it also shows you how to uh, deal with the uh, demo code and that's the next thing I need to show you so if you scroll right to the bottom you'll see this demo code. When you click that it will open up uh, or it will download a demo code file. Uh, we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, so that's one important bit and then the next bit is how to display an image. Um, and in ste step three you'll see there's almost a hidden link. Uh, this little uh, image to lcd.x file is a nice little program which allows you to put photos onto it. Uh, so again I've clicked on that and that has downloaded to there. So we'll just have a look at the folder. And this is a downloads folder and there you can see the image to LCD file and the 4.2 inch ePaper module code. If you open that one up, you will see it's got three folders, an Arduino, a Raspberry Pi and an STM32 folder. Okay, so I've downloaded the demo code and I've uh, put the Arduino files in the correct folders and I've also downloaded this image to LCD program and you can see I've got these uh, two programs up and running at the moment um, and I'm just going to run through the sequence of getting a photo to display um, it took me a few attempts so I'm just going to uh, it's worth pointing out how to do it so click open and choose a picture I'm going to choose this picture here of my little girl and uh, the reason I've chosen this one is because it is portrait. Now if you do portrait you must choose the scan mode as vertical and you want the max width as 300 and the height as 400. Now if you've opened up this program and changing from landscape to portrait you must then click that arrow. Um, when you open up the picture it defaults to uh, this setting but you actually need to reverse the color. You then need to change the brightness to get uh, the required picture you want. You can see you want a little bit of the dress maybe, um, I think the important bit is the eyes maybe. I will try it out. When you're happy with the setting just click um, save. It will ask you for a file, I'll click E. And then it will show you all this data. Now all I do is I'm very lazy because I'm not a very good programmer. I uh, select it and copy it. I then go over to the Arduino program and in the image data.cpp open up that and then delete all of this data and there's a lot of the uh, a lot of data there to make up this picture. Once you've deleted that, paste in your new code. Go back up to the top cuz I've uh, actually pasted in an extra line just delete that line there. And then press the arrow to uh, compile and upload. That does take a little while to compile there is a lot of data to make up each picture um, but you will hopefully see on the camera when this is done. Um, still compiling, come on, come on, hurry, come on. I thought it had crashed then. Okay it's now uploading And we should see the picture change any second now. Oh, 
And there you go. So that's how to change from a landscape to portrait. I'll just quickly demonstrate the other way. So here, again, just to labour the point, portrait, you need vertical scan 300 by 400, click the button. If you want it the other way, like this VW engine, you're going to need it to be horizontal scan, you know, you're going to need the width to be 400 and the height to be 300. And again, I can prove that if you wish. Save that picture. VW5. There's the code. Select all the code. Copy it. Go back to our software again. Delete all the original code. Paste in that picture. Go back at the top to delete that extra line. And then send it over again. So I'm sure there are better ways to do this. Uh, you could probably have uh, several folders open or several files open and uh, select which one you want. But uh, like I say, I'm not a very good programmer, so this uh, works for me. So it's now uploading. There you go. Let's see what this looks like. There you go. And I believe that's actually quite a good picture. So that's all I'm going to cover on this uh, ePaper unit. Uh, there's loads more you could do with it. If you connect it to a Raspberry Pi, you could obviously get it to display uh, text and all sorts. Um, so big thank you to Gearbest for sending us this item. And if you guys want to buy this item, please use the link below in the text. Uh, that somehow gets me credit and I'll be able to review more items for you guys.